Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your um, second half of your September from the 16th to 30th. You can apply this to uh, any of our placements. Anything could come up. So uh, apply this to your own unique, unique situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages, all right? Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. If anyone's interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. So tell me about Sagittarius. Energy check-in for Sagittarius. Over energies for Sagittarius for the um, second half of their September from the 16th to the 30th for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius. And we have the Five of Wands in the reverse Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be finding resolution in conflict here, you know? You know, one of the things I'm getting is I feel like you might be really surprised that this is happening here because I feel like you just didn't believe that this would happen here, okay? So any sort of conflict that you've been dealing with with anybody, such as a romantic partner, a friend, a family member, you guys are overcoming it here, okay? And I feel like you guys will be quite surprised here. We have the Ace of Cups, all right? The conflict that you might be having with someone here is that someone here hasn't been honest with their feelings here towards you. And, you know, I feel like someone here could be coming clean about their feelings here towards you guys. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, some of you guys could be also going back to school at this time, you know, getting a higher education here, learning something here that could further your career, all right? Learning new skills, yeah. Learning to new skills regarding your career here or that you guys are learning new skills to start a business here. So with the Ace of Cups here and the Ace of Wands, there could be a new beginning that's happening here for you guys, uh, Sagittarius. We also have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like for the end of September, you know, the second half of September, I feel like it's gonna be filled with surprises here. Could be an indication that someone here could be telling you how you feel, uh, telling you how they feel when it comes to your feelings here towards you. You know, I do feel like someone here could be secretly admiring you. And I feel like there could be, you know, you taking a, a, a leap of faith where you guys are switching directions in your life here when it comes to your career. You know, some of you guys could be uh, switching, you know, careers. Some of you guys could be starting a new uh, a, a, a business or something like that. We have Page of Wands here and the Five of Wands in the reverse. The Tower, why is the Tower here? And also we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay, some of you could be coming back around to resolve things here with you. This is interesting. I feel like you're really surprised about this resolution and about this person coming back around. Yeah, I feel like you're really completely surprised or taken by surprise here with the Ace of Cups and also the Lovers here. Wow. So what I'm getting here is I feel like you're surprised about what this person's about to tell you. Perhaps you didn't know. Yeah, perhaps you didn't know. We have the Lovers here. We have the Page of Swords, the Lovers Gemini Energy, the Page of Swords here, and the High Priestess. This person has been hiding a secret from you here, okay? And I feel like this is an individual here that's about to come clean towards you to let you know that they love you, and also they, to let you know that they want happily ever after here with you. Seems like this person has been playing games here. Perhaps this person got jealous because you were talking to somebody else and they this person came rushing back in. But this person's realizing that they're, they're, they are destined to be with you here with the Hierophant here, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. You know, some of you guys could be heading into a very lucky period. You know, the second half of September could be a very lucky period for you guys. And a lot of things are happening here. A lot of things are coming together for you guys. Um, so what else do we have here for Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius need to know what that for work on? For um, the second half, their September from the 16th to the 30th for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. So we have um, the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy, and the Two of Wands. Things are changing in a big way for you guys. If you felt like 
you know, you've been in this stagnant energy for a while here. I do feel like things are really changing, especially in your love life, I feel. Yeah, especially in your love life. Some of you guys could also be going through like a spiritual awakening, a spiritual transformation here. You know, some of you guys could have been blocking it here. We have the King of Swords here and the Three of Wands. So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys are definitely moving towards the future here if you've felt, been dealing with some sort of stagnancy here. All right, the King of Wands, uh, Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Three of Wands here. And also we have the Moon card here and the Five of Swords. Now, let's say if someone here has been holding these feelings in for you here, someone here is no longer fighting their feelings. Someone here is no longer trying to hide the secret here. This person's definitely gonna come in and share it to you here, okay? Tell me about the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here? Judgment, and also we have the six of wands. Some of the two of wands here. Why is the two of wands here? The two of wands and the four of swords. So what we have here, this is interesting, you know, I feel like, you know, for the second half of the month, you guys are definitely getting a huge boost of confidence here. I feel like you guys, you guys are definitely feeling some sort of shift that's happening here, Sagittarius. And I just feel like exciting things are happening. You know, I feel like you guys are definitely making peace here with somebody, okay? Four of Swords. I also feel like with the Nine of Pentacles here, this could be an indication that your finances are going really well, all right? Or that whatever you're starting here, when it comes to this new beginning here, you guys are definitely making bank here with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be traveling around a lot for work here for the second half of the month. Let's talk about the Moon card here. Why is the Moon card here? Why is the Moon card? Why is the Moon card here? And we have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Five of Swords, and also the Queen of Swords, Libra Aquarius Gemini. This is really interesting here because I do feel like there is like a, a spirit that has been guiding you here, you know, sort of like cheering you on. I mean, I feel like this could be like a sibling, like a sister or something like that, or a brother here, okay? Whoever this person is, I feel like this person crossed over at a very young age here, and I feel like this person has been guiding you throughout this whole time here, all right? What else do we have here for? Sagittarius, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Look out for work on, for Sag. So Sagittarius with a Hermit here, Virgo energy. And also we have the Seven of Swords here. Also, I, need, I, I feel like another thing is that this, the second half of the month, it's really important to connect with yourself here because I feel like you guys are losing sight of yourself. Yeah, of all the outside things that are going around, going around, going around, going in around you here. Okay, and I feel like it's time to go within, connect with yourself. Let's say if you guys have stopped meditating here, it's time to meditate again. It's time to start that up again because I feel like your energy is being sabotaged by people in around you here. Now, people could, you know, it could be like an energetic thing. You could be absorbing other people's energies here and you feel like you could be feeling like you're being sabotaged energetically. Okay, so I feel like it's time to go within. Connect with yourself here, meditate here, because I feel like some of you guys haven't done that in a long time. What else do we have for Sag? We have the Three of Pentacles. We also have the Four of Pentacles. And the Hangman here, Piscean Energy. I feel like anything that you've been holding on to, it's time to let it go. Yeah. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, I also, I feel like as you, you guys are going through this, I feel like you guys are definitely remaining patient here and that you guys are surrendering to the process here, okay? So I do feel like a major theme for the second half of the month is that, yeah, some of you are coming clean about how they truly feel about you and that you guys are, or, and that you guys could be heading into this very lucky period in your life here where things are going your way here. You know, especially with the Wheel of Fortune being here, okay? So, Sag, that's, uh, this looks really good. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I already said that. <laughs> Hit the notification bell, uh, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will speak to you guys in another reading, all right? Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, guys.